actually don't look at Indians as foreigners. We have to do something that is good for the world. Look at Indian people as very smart and hardworking. So, sir, uh, you also have uh, uh, like uh, any friend uh, that is from India in your country? I've always had Indian friends. Like from the time I was a little boy from school, I went oh, to great. school. I had Indian friends. Uh, I've done business with. Yeah, I've got Indian friends. <laughs> like everyone in my country knows. Like Indian people, like we look at Indian people as very smart and hardworking. Oh, great. So that is yeah. a proud thing for us to yeah. treat Indian as a family. So that is a very good thing. Mm. Um, they've been part of our community for a very, very long time. <laughs> Oh, because so as uh, you know, uh, as Indians uh, go to your country or any foreign country for any work or some reason, so let they don't feel, uh, you can say, uh, just that they are away from their hometown. So at, uh, as you are the people uh, that treat uh, the Indians as their uh, family, so I think that is the best thing that they feel that they were living in or you can say in that uh, environment that is not very rare that is a family to their hometown or home country like that yeah uh, we, we actually don't look at indians as foreigners they're one of us we're one people <laughs> never racist never what everyone's just friends right sir a person should be uh, treated like that because god made us so, you know, this thing that the race, creed, sex and uh, this color, this all religion is all, you can say, human based. We don't have, uh, uh, you can say the, so as God made us, so why, what we humans that uh, just, you know, differentiate the people on the basis of this. So let's, we all have to unite uh, together and yeah. make progress for the uh, for both for the both country for uh our country as well as for the country that they uh, wear daily or you can say for the all humanity sir don't for the one or two country for mm. uh globally we have to do something that is good for the world yeah right sir. i mean that's what we're put here for like we just have to we're born we're supposed to improve on what we find and when we die um we should leave we should leave the world a better place for the next generations to come right sir that you know the next generation should be thankful or you can say feel very proud that the past generation really did a great thing for ourselves yeah I can see we, we only have 30 seconds. The time went by so fast. Yes, sir. I really so, sir, tell me about the review that uh, uh, what is uh, like, uh, what is uh, my status of uh, my English language? What do you think? I think you're good. Your listening is good. Um, your grammar is good. You just need to work on pronunciation. Right, sir. Yeah, Definitely. I'll send you. I'll send you a text, then maybe we can work out a plan. Okay, sir. Like, we look at everyone, like, if you're human, oh. you're human. Uh, see in every Indians, that is very devoted to their, uh, you mm. can say, their career. There are a lot of similarities, cultural similarities um, between, not cultural, but... There are a lot of similarities between Indians and Zambians. Um, we take family seriously. Um, we hold family in very high regard. Uh, we believe in staying together as family. And it's the only way to keep any, to keep life going, like generations to generations. It's, it's. Yeah. Right. Very rare, very rare to find an Indian that's not smart. If you actually, I'm not going to say this because I'm Zambian, but if you come across any person that has traveled to Zambia, they will tell you um, Zambians are very friendly people.